You may have heard the term weight stigma, but what does this really mean? And what does weight stigma look like in our society? This video examines these questions with a brief introduction to the topic of weight stigma. In our society, people are quick to judge others based on their physical appearance. This is especially true when it comes to body weight. Individuals who have a high body weight or large body size are often judged, criticized, and blamed for their weight. This societal devaluation of people because of their body weight is called weight stigma or weight bias. At the foundation of weight stigma are strongly ingrained societal stereotypes about people with higher weight. Often, negative public attitudes reflect a limited understanding of the many factors beyond food intake and physical activity that contribute to body weight, including genetics, biological factors, and environmental factors. Some of the most common stereotypes in our society include assumptions that people who have higher weight are lazy, lacking self-discipline, have poor willpower, are unmotivated to improve their health, and personally to blame for their weight. These stereotypes set the stage for weight-based bullying, rejection, prejudice, unfair treatment, and discrimination. The prevalence of weight stigma and discrimination is high among American adults. National U.S. studies show that approximately 40% of American adults have experienced some form of weight stigma in their lives, whether it's in the form of teasing, bullying, or mistreatment. For people who have obesity, prevalence rates of weight discrimination, such as being treated unfairly in the workplace or facing weight-based inequities in education, range from 19 to 40%. Rates of weight discrimination are typically elevated for people with the highest weight status, or BMI. Who is most likely to experience weight stigma? Weight stigma affects women and men of all ages. Women tend to report higher rates of weight stigma and experience it at lower body weights compared to men. Weight stigma also affects people across different racial ethnic backgrounds and different sexual and gender identities. Although stigma tends to be most common and harshest towards people at the highest weight categories, people can face weight stigma at different body sizes. And weight stigma is by no means unique to North America. It's present in countries around the world. For many people, weight stigma is a lifelong struggle. The experience of weight stigma is not restricted to a certain age or time period. It can be present and persist throughout a person's life. Research shows that negative weight stereotypes are expressed early on in childhood. Children as young as three years of age ascribe negative characteristics to their peers with larger body sizes. These attitudes become strongly ingrained over time. So, for individuals who have a high body weight as a child or adolescent, weight stigma begins in the form of teasing, bullying, and rejection in youth, but expands over time to include unfair treatment and discrimination in adulthood. Thus, many adults who experience weight stigma have an enduring stigma for many years. Where does weight stigma occur and what does it look like? In our society, there is no place where a person is protected from or immune to weight stigma. It remains legal almost everywhere in the United States and the rest of the world to discriminate against people because of their weight. And because weight stigma is rarely challenged in our society, it remains commonplace in many societal settings. For example, in the workplace, weight stigma negatively impacts job-related outcomes. Qualified employees with higher weight are less likely to be hired than thinner employees. At their jobs, they face negative weight stereotypes from coworkers and supervisors, fewer recommendations for promotion, and lower salaries as well as wrongful job termination. In the media, weight stereotypes are common in movies, television, news, advertising, and across social media platforms. For example, television shows and films depict characters with larger body sizes in stigmatizing ways, reinforcing negative stereotypes and judgment of people based on their body size. The news media often oversimplifies the causes of obesity, typically ignoring the complex contributors and emphasizing personal responsibility. Shaming people for their body size is also commonplace on social media platforms, with little or no sanctions for hateful speech. In close interpersonal relationships with family members and friends, weight stigma can also be present. For example, children and adolescents with higher weight face weight teasing, judgment, and stigma from parents, siblings, and other family members. This can lead to harmful consequences for their health and well-being, 
such as psychological distress and disordered eating behaviors, especially because weight stigma within families often persists into adulthood. In healthcare, adults with obesity commonly report stigma from medical professionals, reducing the quality of care they receive and leading to avoidance of healthcare. Negative weight stereotypes are expressed by healthcare providers across different specialties and contribute to poor provider patient communication and patient outcomes. Taken together, this evidence shows that it's difficult to escape weight stigma in one's daily life. It can occur in subtle or overt ways almost anywhere. The high prevalence of weight stigma and its presence throughout our society underscores the importance of taking steps to address this societal problem. Throughout the videos, podcasts, and resources provided in this educational module, we explore this topic further and identify the harmful ways that weight stigma affects people's health.